Hey Tube, welcome back. In the previous two videos that we talked about system designs, we talked about logging and monitoring, and it's um, it was seems like monitoring and 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 logging they look quite the same. So in this video, we try to 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 describe what are the differences between logging and monitoring, and why we need monitoring and why we need logging. So monitoring and logging are related but uh, are, are related but distinct practice in the context of distributed systems they serve different purposes and capture different types of information both of them capture types capture events capture things so let's talk about logging first and um, and in terms of logging i want to talk about the purpose So, um, uh, uh, in 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 terms of logging, <coughs> logging is primarily focused on recording events, actions, and de and details uh, about what has happened in the past within a system or application. Its primary purpose is to provide a historical record of activities and aid in troubleshooting the and uh, auditing. So. The main thing that we are tracking events and actions, we're tracking things are going to are happening. In the other hand, <coughs> monitoring. If we talk about the purpose of monitoring, it will be, um, the purpose of monitoring. <coughs> sorry, the purpose of monitoring. Um, monitoring is primarily focused on the observing of uh, the observing the real. Uh, um, Sorry, monitoring is primarily focused on observing the real time or near real time behavior of a system or application. Its purpose is to detect issues, measure performance, and provide insights in, in, into the current statement state of the system. So, as here, we are tracking events, mainly events and actions. But here, we we tracking um, the overall, um, like uh, we giving a real time or near real time behavior of the system. So we are tracking here the overall behavior of of the system. So this is the main thing that we trying to think about. That uh, looking is m more into events and monitoring. It's in, in just we just know what's going system. So, in terms of data, let's talk about data. In <coughs> monitoring, collects and analyzes various metrics. It's uh, we can call it its metrics, uh, various metrics and statics such as a CPU usage, memory usage, network traffic, response times, error rates, and other performance-related data. It tracks how the system is performing at a specific moment of the time. Again. It's more about that we're tracking the for the overall performance of the system. In terms of the the logging, the data could be logs, but but this doesn't mean anything. So logging capture textual or structured information in log in log file, including error messages, warning, information events, user actions, and security related activities. Log provide context and and a timeline of past events so we can show it's some sort of logs or logs file i don't know if you can see but if logging is more towards specific things event and monitoring it just looks on the overall picture of the actual system um if we talk about the timing of the let's talk talk about the timing for the oh so in terms of timing logging occurs after an event or action has taken place logs are generated as a result of a specific activities or conditions and they are typically stored for future references and the other hand the timing in the monitoring Oh, sorry, this is too timing in the monitoring. Um, monitoring operates in real time or with the minimal delay. 
it continuously tracks and updates metrics and provides and provides alerts when predefined uh, thresholds are exceeded or when specific conditions occur. Um, in terms of visualization, visualization. In terms of the visualization, monitoring data is often visualized as uh, dashboards and charts allowing operators and administrators to get quick overview of the system health and performance. <coughs> um, in terms of the logging, the logging visual, uh, visualization. Uh, log data is usually stored in a text file, databases, or other log storage systems. Log analysis uh, tools and uh, techniques are used to search, filter, and review logs when it's needed. Uh, let's talk about, lastly, the use case. So, uh, logging is... Um, no, no. Let's delete all of that. So... Logging uh, is used for di uh, diagnosing issues, tracking user activities, auditing changes, investigating security um, in uh, incidents, and maintaining um, a historical record of the system event. And um, the monitoring use cases. <coughs> so um, monitoring is used for uh, proactive problem detection, performance optimization, capacity planning in, in incident response, and ensuring the system um, meets its uh, service level object, uh, objects, uh, objectives. So, in summary, monitoring is focused on real-time observation and measurement of the system's performance and health, while logging is concerned with recording events and activities for future references. Analysis and troubleshooting, both practices are essential in distributed systems, um, complementing each other to ensure the reliable security and the optimal performance of the system. So these are the differences between logging and monitoring. And that's it for this video. And I hope you like my content. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you in future problem.